Hey now, it is Sunday, November 19th, Thanksgiving week, so the Getty Lee got a lot of traction. I'm glad people watched that. If you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch that. I'm an all decked out queen today because I'm going to Michigan State basketball, not that anyone cares. But uh, we are on to Jesse Haynes, and like Shikafi, who we just did before, this is another one of the 10 worst inductees ever into the Hall of Fame as a player, per Bill James, not per me. Although... I mean, I could see why. I mean, he does nothing outstanding. I mean, granted, he won a lot of championships. He had some great years with the Gas House Gang, and he was a member of a, quite a few World Series teams. But overall, I was like looking at his statistics. Uh, overall record of two ten and one fifty eight, and this is not a modern two ten. This is, let's say, an old school two ten when pitchers pitched entire games. So two hundred ten today's is impressive. Much more impressive today than it is. 75 years ago when he did it. So closer to 100 years ago, God. And the 3.64 ERA, which again is impressive, but not terribly impressive. So again, he'd like never really got any, like he wasn't a standout pitcher for the majority of his career. I uh, never got more than 10% on the uh, Hall of Fame election committee. But all of a sudden, 1970, with Frank Fritch, Bill Terry at the helm, he gets in. So the good news is he's not a rare autograph. I mean, not a rare autograph at all. He was always collected, being part of the Gas House game. People collected just the Gas House game because they were such a special team with special just, people love St. Louis. And he was part of that team, and he was an outstanding signer through the mail. Outstanding, outstanding signer through the mail. Always returned it. Uh, died after a long cancer bout in 1978. But he got into the Hall of Fame in 1970. So there was an eight year window where he was signing autographs consistently. And as you'll see shortly, his autograph is not rare, is not rare at all. Unless you're buying, of course, the signed baseballs, I would have to spend more than $100 on any medium for Jesse Haynes, except for like maybe a vintage contract. But even then, they don't go for that much. So without any further ado, we're going to take a look at at the autograph analysis of Mr. Pop Jesse, Jesse Pop Haynes. Give me a second here. So again, start off with the PSA autograph analysis. And so Jesse Haynes, I mean, his autograph, we're going to talk about post-career. It was fairly consistent in my opinion. So you got the J and it kind of loops out. It should be just two loops. The J should be constantly intersecting. They should not be an open J. They should both be closed. And there should be uh, a break between the J and the E. And again, he signed on a fairly level plane, as you can see right here. The H should start off right here, come out, come in. And it's hard to tell what this autograph will get, but a little bit slants to the right, as you can see, you're kind of like falling over. He generally signed every letter of his name, although the S is kind of tough to read at times. Uh, he was very good through the mail about signing like inscriptions as well on S. So again, you can see right here, full J, cut off. Full S-E, full Haynes right here. Again, nice inscription right here. I want to get those. This is, uh, again, even baseballs are out there, but they're expensive. But usually he would inscribe them. And I think all the baseballs that I've seen so far are good. Again, the full J coming out, some flare right here with the J, a break, full Jesse. You put the pop right here, the H. The H should always be a two-stroke H. You don't want to see a one-stroke H. So it's the H, with the loop through, and it comes right here through the Haynes. Again, on a nice, even plane. So he had a really nice signature. So again, this is a contract early on. I don't want to get into it. This is 1922 contract. You're not going to see many 1922 autographs of Jesse Haynes that you're looking to buy. So again, this is a little bit vintage, but again, it looks similar to a more modern. So again, the J you can see is sort of leaning to the right, the whole autograph, a two loop H, the H comes out with some flair over here, it comes around full name, just a beautiful, no hesitation. And again, he signed so many autographs that his autographs are not that rare. Even this 1973 ball, again, full J, closed J, nice uh, plane. The H sort of comes out right here, two stroke H. Here it connects to the A, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. There should always be a dot above the I also, I should add that. And again, a nice little inscription that they signed. I mean, I can rush, through, I'm rushing through these because, like, again, they're all pretty similar. This is a little weird. I got to be honest. So this is like a very late in, late in life signature. Uh, personally, I wouldn't buy this because, again, it's not rare at all. I don't like the fact that the J doesn't uh, close right here. It's C sort of drops right here. It's not on a level playing field. It's probably good. It's just he's such an easy autograph that, like, for 25 bucks, that's not the one to get. Uh, again, 
very proud of the Hall of Fame. Like, this is what you want to see here. You can see the full closed J. There is a break between the J and the rest of his name at a nice level playing field. The A flares out to the left here, kind of falls down. So, again, there's not much to say about Jesse Haynes. Again, postcard. this card is a little weird to me, i got to be honest. Uh, it's probably a playing sign during, actually during his playing days. So or shortly thereafter, because it's a little bit of an odd autograph. And so now we're back to signed photos. So, again, if you look at the uh, JSA database, I mean, there are some signed baseballs out there that he signed, like this beautiful signed baseball right here. So, th again, this is not terribly rare that he would put these inscriptions on. So this sold uh, last year for $6,900. And there are collectors out there that really like this stuff, and it makes sense. As a matter of fact, I want to turn your attention. I don't think I'm outing this. There's an auto auction right now at REA for our beautiful Jesse Haynes signed baseball. Again, I think this is a sign much later in life, towards the end of his life. I still think it's real with the J coming out right here and the Haynes flaring, and it has this inscription right here, Hall of Fame. I think it's good. I really do. Uh, it's a little – it's beautiful ball, so it's a little bit later in life. And there's two weeks left in this auction, and it's already at $2,900. I wouldn't be shocked if this goes to $5,000. Uh, turning to eBay, again, I think this ball is good. It's the most expensive ball on eBay that I can see right now. So it's inscribed. I think it's good. They want $3,500. This is a notoriously high price seller. Again, if I were buying a Jesse Haynes autograph, I would look for cheaper stuff. I think they're all good. Like the checks that are out there. Uh, this one wants a hundred, but it gets a horrible cancellation check. There's a lot of checks out there. I wouldn't spend more than 50 bucks a check. A matter of fact, this is my check. Uh, I paid $25 for this. It's a little odd that it's Jesse J. Haynes and the J connects to the H. Again, I don't think there's any premium for that. I bought this check because the price and the fact that a lot of the Haynes checks, including the one I had before this, had cancellations through the actual name of so this one was a nice, clean check. So this is the reason why I bought it. So, I mean, nothing too exciting with Haynes. There's even postcards out there, uh, Hall of Fame postcards. They're about $100, $200 signed. They're usually always signed at the top, Jesse Haynes, right in the middle. So I didn't get into that because it's kind of a boring name. So uh, we're going to get off of Jesse Haynes, turn into a little bit more deserving Hall of Famer. First, God, well, whatever. We're going to go to Roy Halladay next, so a much more modern Hall of Famer. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, hit the like button. And as always, keep collecting.